<laughs> ah, there he goes. <laughs> Got away from me. Oh yes. Hickok 45 here with the Ruger LC9. 9 millimeter. We're going to take a few shots with this baby in a close-up video. He knew he was coming, right? <laughs> uh oh, there's one. Woo! <laughs> Glad we didn't put him any closer. Oh, nice. Didn't figure I'd get two shots on him. All right. Yes, Ruger LC9. Hopefully you've seen the uh, initial video with it. This is it. Has arrived. Nine millimeter. Pretty, uh, pretty good little gun. Uh, I enjoyed doing the first video with it and uh, the shooting that we've done. Both John and I are, uh, I don't know if we're falling in love with it, but uh, we're, we're enjoying it. We're, we're both sitting around talking about what a pretty cool gun this thing is. Okay, and uh, that's no joke. So let me uh, reload my mags. I have two magazines. As I mentioned in the first video, this is a T&E gun. And it came with one mag, and uh, I wrote my contact there at Ruger and asked her to, uh, if she could maybe uh, find another magazine, because I'm sure they're not out in the stores yet. Uh, and she did. She sent one. It was great. It, it arrived, and I picked it up at the post office the, the very day I was coming home to, to do the first video. So it was great to have two magazines. It makes a big, big difference. Almost twice the difference. How's that for good math? Uh, because the way I like to shoot and uh, just throw the lead when I'm doing a video, I need all the magazines I can get. So uh, we have a couple of mags here. All right, so, and the magazines feel like a uh, you know, quality, quality piece too. You know, if you mess with little guns, uh, you know, you do experience uh, a wide range of uh, quality, I guess you could say. And so it's not hard to, uh, to find. Oh, that's interesting. I just noticed that. Uh, made in Italy, the Ruger mags. Hmm. Well, they seem like they're well made. Okay. Let's load him back up and take a couple more shots. Get my ears in. Again, you've got a safety there. Thumb safety. I'll push it down. Rack around in. And find another target. Let's see now. This is a new gun to me, so if I miss everything, you know, I, I've got an alibi, right? All right. Somebody left a soda pop there, right? No way. Ah. Well, he disappeared. <laughs> All right. Took care of those guys. There, put that mag back in my pocket here. We're sitting on a log in the woods. We could lose everything here. I bet I can finish off that Coke can there. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Now the trigger locks up if you don't have a magazine in it, as I pointed out in the uh, initial video. Okay, we'll lay it there while I load mags. So, a lot of people were uh, anxious to see this thing come about and arrive on the scene. I believe it was introduced at the at the shot uh, in January. The shot show, as most people call it. Uh, I think that's redundant maybe, but that uh, is where it was introduced, I believe. And it's been out there a little bit. And I uh, was glad to get a hold of one. Because I... I I'm very fond of this uh, size gun, to tell you the truth. It uh, really fills a niche, uh, a need, that, that niche of single stack 9mm that's a little bit bigger than the little pocket uh, 380s, but yet not as big as uh, even a, say, a subcompact uh, Glock or M&P or you know, one of those, those smaller guns in that vein or an XD uh, 
yeah, XDM, compact, or whatever. So, pretty interesting size in a, in a firearm. Uh, almost as small as you can get and be a really shootable gun, I think, in a lot of ways. Just a, a really, really effective, pretty effective caliber. People might argue that, but a pretty effective caliber and then a, a gun that's big enough to uh, to be a real gun that you could uh, learn to shoot well and just go right to town with it. So let's take a couple more if we have anything left here to shoot. Now let's go over that one hasn't been shot. <laughs> now he's been shot. And let's finish up with some, uh, well, maybe I shouldn't say rapid fire. I don't know how rapidly I can fire this thing. But we'll uh, get a good grip on it here and see if I can fire a little bit faster. I probably won't hit anything, but we'll shoot. <laughs> At least I emptied the magazine quickly, right? So uh, there you have it, the LC9 close-up. We like to give you a really good, uh, good picture of anything that we have here on the compound, anything we're going to shoot, uh, whether we're going to have it for a long time or just temporarily. Uh, you never know. You never know what we'll end up with. And so uh, it's a good look at this gun. And uh, I gave you my impressions in the first video, and uh, we'll be doing more with it uh, again. So far, I like it. It's not had a malfunction. It, uh, it's shootable even for my really large hands. Can't complain about that. So uh, anyway, you'll be seeing more of it. And I'm glad you come out today for the close-up of the Ruger LC9. Life is good.